Welcome to the garden. Today I'm going to be trying an experiment with pie crete. That's pie with a Y. And it's no more than ice with a little bit of wood pulp. In this case, some newspaper. So ice by itself is really quite fragile because when you get a break, it travels all the way through the piece. Even something really large, really easy to cleave and fracture apart. But when you add the tensile strength of even just a little bit of wood pulp, like sawdust, toilet paper, or newspaper, you can get some really, really strong forms. So all I'm gonna do is take a single sheet here of uh, Sunday Comics, and I'm gonna submerge it. I'm gonna try and work pretty quick because it's really cold out here. But I'm just gonna soak it and I'm just gonna do one layer and make like a katana or a, like a samurai sword. So I'm hoping that this will release from our board once it's done. But I wanna try and get it as flat as possible so it's nice and thin. And I'm just gonna fold it over its, on itself a few times, press it down. Maybe add a little extra water here. And we'll see if we can get this to freeze solid and hopefully be really thin and sharp but strong enough to cut through some stuff. So that's a single layer, but I wanted to try a couple different layers too. Historically, this has been used to make boats even. In World War II, they made a ship out of Pikecrete, or maybe they proposed to make a ship and they made it out of ice, I think was the was the final product, but Pikecrete is much stronger because you can bump into stuff and take some damage, and it's basically self-healing material. So this one I'm going to try a couple different layers. i got to work quick because it's freezing cold out here. So this one's going to be two sheets, and maybe it'll be a little stronger, a little easier to remove from the board, but we'll see. So I'm just going to fold it back on itself a couple times, seal it together, add a little bit of water on top, because our ice is going to be most of the, uh, the outside edge of our blade. So if this freezes thin, we might get a pikecrete blade. So it's only taken a couple hours for our pikecrete to set up. And I'm gonna try and release it now. It's a little tricky. I don't want it to thaw too much, or it's not gonna be very strong. So I just want to release it as much as I can. Okay, so here's our single sheet of Pikecrete. It's not as strong as I was expecting, and I don't think it's going to cut our apple. Wow, it did it! Holy cow, I didn't expect that. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's one sheet of newspaper. Dang. This thing is awesome. The power of Pikecrete. It's like concrete with ice and wood. No, that one didn't cut. Well, it cut in a little bit, but it didn't split it. So let's see if I can release our multi-layer piece. That's coming up. Okay, this seems a lot stronger. So let's see if I can chop through this apple again. Yeah! Dang, that's cool. 
there's like no damage. <laughs> it did separate a tiny bit, but it's incredibly strong. It's probably not very strong this way. Eh, stronger than I expected. But that's some pretty cool stuff. I saw in Mythbusters they built a boat out of this. And on outrageous acts of science, someone built a pretty thick sword. But I really don't think you need much more than one layer. That's really incredible. So I hope you enjoyed this piecrete experiment. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.